Hey guys, it's Deep Toonster back with Let's Play Earthworm Jim, and holy crap, we got a race we gotta do. Looks like Psycho wants his rematch, but I think we'll be able to take care of him just as easily as we did the last time. In the later uh, versions of the race, though, it's gonna be a, quite a bit more difficult. I probably won't be able to get the all the 50 orbs to get the continue, I'll just tell you that right now. Oh, don't get in my way, I'm trying to get those. Jeez, I missed a few. Should be okay, though. One thing I forgot to mention in the last race I did is you'll see those electrical balls along the way. And I picked up a couple already. The controller's squeaking, that's weird. And uh, if you use it, it'll protect you from the asteroids for a little bit. And when you pick up those speed boosts, it'll give you a little bit of invincibility as well. And that will help you from, you know, getting hit by asteroids. And it'll also help you do some damage to Psycho if you manage to bump into him while you have that barrier around you. So it can be useful to pick those up. Okay, we're at 43. We just need a few more. Oh, I didn't get enough. I didn't get the continue there. Jeez, I can't believe that. Oh, well. Maybe I can get the one in the next level. Shouldn't have to use all the continues anyway. There are about eight platforming levels. Well, actually more like seven. Well, yeah, seven. No, 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 no. Eight. Okay, I'm going with my original number here. Eight. And here's the third one. It's a water level, but there's no swimming involved. Well, not, you know, swimming without a body around you. Okay, so these guys can be hard to see because they kind of like to hide themselves in that tubing there. And here we go. We got these big baddies. If they'll run into you, well, let's just show it for... Yeah, jeez, they'll punch your lights out. You can even see the flash when they hit you. So you're just going to want to get get up into those little compartments there and hold up so they don't punch you. And just jump over that one. And do this again. There will be a few that we have to avoid. If you actually get hit by that one, you're probably going to get punched by the one behind them as well. So it's really important you don't get hit in that little hallway. Okay, so we can hook up onto that thing there. But we want to do it this way because that's where the platform is. I thought I could... Well, I guess you can just jump up there. Just take care of that. Hook onto this one. You can hook onto this one as well. It'll take... Oh, I missed the ammo, but okay. It'll take you up here where we got a switch. And what's that switch do? You probably saw it. We got a huge hamster right here. And it's good that we have him because there's no way you can get through this area without those guys tossing you all about and putting a world of hurt on you. Jeez. It's really hard to see those guys at times. Let's try to do this again. I don't know why I'm going up here. I don't have to hit this switch again. So here we go. Oh, there was a freaking... I'm going to try to get that life refill. Last video I said those uh, red balls will refill your life completely. That's not technically true. It really just fills 50%. But usually you're in a, at a stage where 50% will be... Ah, oh, screw it. I can't get it. <laughs> well, Nelly. That's probably my favorite line that Earthworm Jim says in this game. Especially at this part, it's like the hamster's name is Nelly or something. Okay, here we go. This is the bane of a lot of Earthworm Gym players, these little submarine parts. Because as you can see on the top right, I have a time limit. And the reason for that is I have to get to the next pipe before that time runs out, which is really easy in this case, but it does get a little bit more difficult. And if you don't make it in time, you're going to lose a life. That's the way it goes. Another thing about those submarines is that if you actually collide with walls along your way there, it'll do a little bit of damage to the submarine itself, and eventually you can do enough damage to where it'll break open and you'll lose a life that way. Oh yeah, I have to go up this metal tube here. And what you, do, you do take a lot of hits before that breaking happens, but it's best just to be careful. A lot of people will try to rush through and take a lot of damage that way, but really it's just, your best bet is to just play it safe, go slow, because there will be uh, ways that you can refill that timer to where you'll have a little bit more extra time and that will help you greatly and it's really not hard to get to those I would go over to the left and get those life refills but I'm at full life so there's no point so we'll just make it through the second one uh, in the next section of this level it's really more like a separate level but really most people consider it the same level We'll get a really, we'll get a harder version of this submarine, but there is a little secret that'll make it easier, and I know the secret, so it'll be easier. Yay! Oh, geez, I didn't mean to go down here, but we got a plasma bullet. 
I should still be okay. And you see there the glass is cracking a little bit when I'm colliding with those walls. So I'm going to try to be careful here. I'm running a little low on time. I think I'm close to the end though. Oh, here's a refill anyway. Yeah, those things off to the side where you see those tiny little holes that I'm docking into is where you can get your timer increased a bit. So it's a good thing I hit that. Is there some life refills? Why am I looking for life refills? I'm at full life. So yeah, it gets pretty narrow, these little passageways here. So you just got to take it slow. I'm not doing the best at that, but we should be okay. Come on, Jim. Jim, you control this thing. Oh, there we go. We're saved. It can be a little hard to actually dock into these things. You have to get it spot on, which we've done. And now we have 30 seconds again. We're getting closer. I think that's the last one before we actually make it to the tube. Don't go too far to the right. Oh, jeez. I wasn't expecting that, even though I played through this level multiple times. There's new surprises every time. Don't hit that. Okay, there's the tube. Get in there. We are home free. But it's not the last time we'll see that pod. Now for a little bit more platforming. This guy right here, just you got to run into him. There's no way to avoid it. He'll toss you over here, and if you jump up, you can grab an extra life. Yay. And just go over to the right some more. Oh, wait. You have to go through this tube. And now you can go to the right some more. Hey, remember that cow? I told you he'd be important. Jump up there, Jim. Get up there, Jim. No, Jim. There we go. You have to actually go to a little bit to the left, and you'll get carried up there. And we'll make it to the next part of the level. You might think the level's over, but really it's just kind of an intermission. Groovy. Groovy. Yeah, it's the same level name and everything. I really don't get this transition here. Maybe they just ran out of room or something. I don't know. But no matter. These you actually want to jump over because they will do some serious damage to you. There's no reason to run into them like the last one. Ah, oh, jeez. They always like to camouflage themselves. Okay, let's see what's over by this hook. Oh, jeez, you can actually get up here. Looks like I grabbed some life refills and some ammo. And we got another hamster. Hit the switch to bring him down. Come on, Nelly. Oh, yeah. Really, you can just keep tapping the bite button, because you do have to actually hit a button in order for the hamster to start biting like that. But, really, everyone just spams it, and it'll take care of things easily. Here we go. Here's the long submarine uh, endeavor we have to do. So this will fill us all the way up to 99, which you might think is plenty of time to get to the next uh, bubble, but really, you're overestimating things there. Because this is not the easiest course to traverse through. I'm going to try to go as... <laughs> well, here's a nice strategy. Go as quick as you can without getting destroyed. Yeah, that's that's the perfect strategy right there. But I will try to see if I can get through this a little bit quicker than normal. During the second half, I'll probably have to be more careful because it does get a lot narrower. Oop, don't want to bump to the bottom there. But yeah, like I said, you can. I think you get like 15 hits or something like that before the pod actually explodes on you. Usually I do lose at least one life at this part because, I don't know, I just get careless or something. So I'm going to try to avoid that this time. Going through there, okay. Usually if you can stay above 30 when you get down to this lower section here, you should be fine because, like I said, there's a secret refill area. And a lot of people get really frustrated at this part because they can't find that. And I can see how it can be really difficult if you don't know where that intermediate refill area is but I think I'll save myself that pain don't bump into too much stuff Jim you're not gonna get another pod until we get the end it's still quite a ways away look how pissed off he looks too I think his eyes are like yellow there I don't know what the heck's that that's all about it's probably just the effect from the glass or something oh no I took like two or three there I'm gonna keep my eye out for this refill here it is right here you go under this area here where you see a little opening and there it is. Just dock in there, and you'll get refilled to 60. It's not quite 99, but that should still be plenty enough time to get to the end. Now, you just have to be careful. I'd rather just play it safe here, not take a life, and get there just in the nick of time, and, you know, rush my way through. It's not like I'm speedrunning this or anything. Dear God, no. I can't see me speedrunning this game anytime soon. You'll see why when I get to the later levels. 40, we should be good now. Making pretty good time. Okay, here's the narrow areas. Usually when you see cracks, like, almost covering the surface of that glass ball, that's when you're in the danger zone. That's when you have to be really, 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 really careful. There we go. Jeez, I got there sooner than I thought I would. 
But we did it. Kill a few more enemies. And we got the boss coming up. Oh no. Oh my gosh! I completely forgot that this was the boss of this level. Okay. I'm going to try to do this. I might lose a couple lives, but we'll see what we can do. Oh, yes! First attempt. Wow. Okay, that joke's old as dirt, but how else can you make that guy interesting? For real. And yeah, another asteroid race. Let's see if I can get to continue this time. That'd be nice. I'm going to opt to get that speed boost instead of that single bubble. And just try to pick these up as best I can while well, avoiding asteroids. That's really the name of the game there. I got a bearer, so I should be okay. Whoa, Nelly. That phrase needs to be said more often. It really does. How dare it go out of style. Get some more. I almost bumped into one there. Gotta do some sick traversals here. And we got 30. Jeez. I need to pick it up. I'm over halfway done. I... Alright, hopefully there's a big stream of them coming up. Let's just use my barriers. Let them go to waste. Do this without any... Okay, three more. Come on, please let there just be three more. Two more. Can I get two? Give me one. <gasps> there's two. There's two. Make it... Oh, no, no, don't let the Psychro get in front of you. I'm not absolutely sure if you'll still get the... Oh, no, he's gonna beat me? That's not right. No. Did he beat me? Jeez, he beat me. I don't think I'm going to get to continue. That dang asteroid near the end. It's like a blue shell in Mario Kart. Maybe not as bad, but still. Yeah, we're not getting to continue. we got to fight the Psychro. Well, I guess at least you get to see this. It's really nothing special. You just whip him and then shoot. Oh, wait. Maybe you shoot and then... Yeah, it's shoot and then whip. Sorry about that. Some funky boss music. In the later races, if you fail, he gets kind of annoying, really, because he'll keep uh, floating up near the top of the screen when you shoot him, and it's really hard to whip him when he goes all the way up there. Yeah, it didn't take too many hits, really. It's not a problem. This is actually a pretty fun level here. There will be three rounds of this, and what you're doing is he, we're bungee jumping, and Jim doesn't even look like he's thrilled at all. I mean, how can you resist that kind of gravitational force and not even flinch? But anyway, what we're what the point of this level is we got that guy over here, the Mucus King, or I forget his name. It has something to do with Mucus. So what you're doing is you're just using the button to push him over to the side of the wall, and every time he collides with that wall, um, you see these ropes on the sides of the screen. The one on the right is his. That's the one we want to try to snap, which we just did there. And our rope can snap too. It's not like we're safe or anything. And if that happens, we're going to lose a life and get eaten by that monster down there. And speaking of that monster, when you're down at the bottom like this, yeah, he'll come up and try to snap your rope. So you're going to want to try to avoid him every time you reach the bottom there. The, the strategy I like to use for this is I'll go, up to, I'll go up to the right like this, and he'll usually come over to the right too. And that's your opportunity to start hitting him against that wall. Because... You'll see when we get to the third round, he gets really, really, really stubborn and doesn't like to go over to the wall uh, normally. You have to actually manipulate him if you want to get him over there. And I just got bit by the monster. Dang it. Didn't want to do that. Okay. Let's see if we can lure him over here this time. No! Jeez! Yeah, he can crowd you in sometimes and do a few hits on you. Oh, jeez. Lucky, luckily, you can take a few more hits than he can, at least in these first couple rounds third one, I don't know if I'm going to have trouble in it or not. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It's all about getting that right pattern in. When he starts spinning like that, you're just going to want to avoid him because there's really no way you can push him. He's the only one who can do the pushing in that state. Come on up. Come over here. Alright. If I hold up while I'm going up, I should be able to avoid him hitting me from below. Oh yeah. Get some good hits in. There we go. We snapped it. Now we got the third round to do. Alright, let's see if I can do this. Oh, I couldn't get a hit in early, but that's okay. So, uh, don't corner me. Okay. Didn't get snapped. Go up to the right. Yeah, he's not coming over. Okay, there he goes. Not quite close enough, though, but we did get a hit in. Oh, he's spinning now. That's not good when you're in a corner and he starts spinning. Oh, why? How'd he hit me there? He was like a foot away. Oh. I can't really do much when I'm at the bottom there. You can't hit him or anything when you're doing that little ricochet. Oh. 
gosh, I got broken. You can't see me, but my rope got broken, as you can tell by the left. What the heck? Was he making the sound effect over and over again? Like he was getting hit? I don't know. <sighs> Come on, don't lose too many lives on this level. Oh, what? How'd he hit me? I was holding up. Oh, jeez. Here we go, folks. I don't know if this level is considered hard or not by the community. But, it's pretty tricky to me, I guess. Usually you can get a good combo going where he'll take a crap ton of hits if you do this right. And that's pretty much your ticket out. Come on, Jim. Gotta step it up. Okay. I know your performance is based on my input, but come on. Let's work together here. Do not get hit by him. Oh, no! I said don't get hit by him. Yeah, you just keep that straight look on your face. Oh, gosh. He looks like, what the heck's going on when he's going up? He doesn't even care. Oh, man. And then again, I guess Jim's not an average be being. Dang it! Monster doesn't even care when you fall into the lake. He only cares if you're flying on a rope. That's when he's going to bite you. I do not want to use a continue on this level. I've done it before. I don't want to repeat that mistake. Oh! Jeez, 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 jeez. Come on. Come at me, bro. What are you doing? Why can I not block him when I'm hitting up repeatedly? What am I missing? Okay, my rope doesn't look too badly damaged. It takes him a long... Oh, I hit him once. But the thing is, you're going to overshoot yourself if you keep trying to hit him too much, because you will just break past him and then slam right into the wall and take damage yourself. Oh, man, we got... Yes, we did it! We got a really good combo there. That's how you get lucky on that level. We'll do this final asteroid level, and I think that's good for this video. I need this continue. I don't want to... Oh, we're getting to the hard parts, too. I'm not even going to get the speed boost. I'm going to try... God, don't do that. Don't do that. He can actually grab the bubbles, too, and steal them from you. And he can grab those speed boosts, too, like you just saw there. And that just makes it even more annoying. Oh, I should have used my barrier. Okay, I'm going to have to use a speed boost if I want to catch up. I don't know if I'm going to get to continue or not. Even if I do get enough for it, I'm, I still have to beat Psychro. So, I wouldn't consider this easy continues. The first tunnel level, maybe. The sec second one, maybe two. But I, uh, for some reason, I just really goofed up on that and didn't get the last few orbs. But when you get to this part, this is where I think it starts getting really difficult. Oh, and you can actually die on them, too. I didn't mention that as well. You can't see your health, but you still have to be careful because it will deplete your health every time you run into those asteroids. Like that. Usually if you start the race with 100%, like I did this time, you should be fine, though. Unless you're really, really klutzy. Okay, we got a good start. No need for that speed boost. Let's just hope we can grab these orbs. Whoa! Oh, jeez. Yeah, you really have to memorize these tube levels if you want to get a good shot at these continues. I don't know if he's going to grab one of those or not. I've never had him pass me, like, without me hitting an asteroid, so... That's why I'm kind of just dodging the speed boost while I'm ahead. I don't know how far these things can go over to the sides. That's as far as I can go. So hopefully they can't... Oh, never mind. Jeez, my worst fears come to life. I mean, not my worst fears. Oh, gosh! This is insane. Get that speed boost. I don't see any orbs coming anyway. Oh, jeez. And the sensitivity when you're moving to the sides is actually pretty low. So you have to really try to stay in a straight line when you're moving back and forth like this. Oh, there's a bunch over here. Good thing I didn't get hit by one. <gasps> I actually got the continue! I, I barely got enough, and I actually beat him, so... Alright, I think it's the first time I've ever gotten the continue on this uh, tube level. Yeah, you deserve it, Jim. We did good there. Took a couple hits, we lost a life, but hey, we got to continue. I think a continue is worth more than a single life. There we go. Alright, guys, we're going to tackle the ambigu ambiguous level 5. The greatest level name in the world in our next video. See you then. Thanks for watching.